for Pakistan, well, yes, they are alive. They are alive. They are so alive after today because, uh, yes, they have reached six points. Their, their net run rate is almost scratch now, almost yes. just a little away from scratch, uh, which means that now with two games left, they can potentially get to 10 points and still uh, stay in the mix. What have they got left? Well, we've spoken about one game a lot, which could become a potential qualifier. Uh, that's the one against uh, New Zealand. They're playing that on the 4th of November in Bangalore. And then they have uh, the one against uh, England on the 11th. got a week 11th. to let that simmer. They've got a week to let the situation simmer before they play England in Kolkata again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just sometimes you can have too much time to think about what you have to do. So, so much to... Irrespective of what happens in the New yeah. Zealand game, both results. Yeah, but South Africa needs to beat New Zealand first and foremost. And need to win big enough. Yeah. yeah. And then also on, on Saturday, actually, England could do Pakistan a favour by beating Australia. Yeah. Because then Australia stay on eight. That'd be good. So there's a few little scenarios still. Moral victory players. for England, that would be well. That well, they'll claim the Ashes. The, the Ashes will depend on, <laughs> on this Saturday's game. That's if England win. If England lose, it's nah, void. <laughs> We're not counting it then. Nice nah, void. Uh, yeah. So for Pakistan, these two games are coming up. Uh, definitely not easy games, uh, and a lot at stake because they have to get to those uh, ten points if they stand a chance. Are we seeing? Are we seeing a turnaround Pakistan that is now going to stake a claim for a spot because? We like seeing that. We like seeing this yeah. mercurial team do things that only they do. But already they're at a stage where they depend on other results. Yeah. So tomorrow Fair. New Zealand beats South Africa, then Pakistan are virtually gone because then they have to depend on Sri Lanka beating New Zealand in the last game. Yep. So tomorrow New Zealand beats South Africa and they're almost gone. So uh, to that extent they depend, they're already got into a situation where they're depending on, dependent rather on what South Africa do. Uh, Michael mentioned the Australia-England game. But Australia thereafter have to play uh, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh and Afghanistan. Netherlands. Afghanistan and not Netherlands. Easy. Mm, not so easy. I think that might be in... The Afghanistan game might be... Tough, but that's Australia. No, I don't think it's in Chennai. I think it might be here. Yeah. It's, Sorry, it, it, I remember... It, it, Bangladesh as well, right? I, I think the, the Aussie, Bangladesh. Afghanistan... Australia has a game against Bangladesh. Sorry. Yeah, and it's, in, it's, a, a, it's a decent venue for Australia, I think. we get it in a second. Go on, Harsh. There we go. Australia, Afghanistan, Mumbai. Mumbai. In Mumbai. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's Pune for the Bangladesh game for Australia. Yeah. And that can also be, depending on the surface, a heavy scoring. I, I do think if, if, if the Kiwis lose tomorrow, I, I just think this Pakistan side will get on a, yeah. a little bit of a. Yeah? Yeah. I do, I, 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 look, we've all watched Pakistan. And when, when you give them a little sniff, just a little sniff that they can go for something. They are very, very good at going for something. I think before the World Cup starts, they must say one more defeat and you're out. <laughs> and then they'll play like this. What yeah. they need to do the day before the, the World Cup is just sack everyone. <laughs> sack everyone. Everyone resigns and then 15 just get selected and they turn up. And honestly, they win every game. Yeah. Just cause a load of chaos just for the sake of it. <laughs> just every day. Yeah. <laughs> just leak things, leak emails, make them up, <laughs> false resignations. But they can only do that because there are match winners in that side. That's right. Only if you have match winners can you be as mercurial as they are. Can you suddenly turn it around? But here's the thing and, and you'll appreciate this, Harsha, because you know there are pools of talent in every company and uh, HR has to deal with, the same HR person will have to deal with talent pools differently when they change companies. And this company and this group of people just requires very different human resource management. I think they need quite a few HR departments. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just one. Yeah, they need a few. And they need those HR departments to be at loggerheads with each other as well. Yeah, they need to argue. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you understand this? We need an ISO 40, 15,000 kind of organizational structure here that can just create chaos so it brings out the best. It's, I'm telling you, I never studied till the night before the exam. It and I still failed it. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that was not the method for me, perhaps. The best method was to avoid the exam. But anyway, for <laughs> Pakistan, it looks like uh, some things, at least, it's not, you may think that, what are they harping about? It's just one result today. But it is just what you've seen through the day. It's the way you've seen them play, the way you've seen them on the field, the, the intent that we talk about. They're bowling, they're batting, you know, just, just the intensity on the field, which makes us believe in the next statement to Pakistan fans. And that statement is, Kabrana nahi hai aapko. Kabrana nahi hai. It's true, yeah. right? It's true. Yeah. What does that mean? Don't get scared. Don't be afraid. Don't get worried. Ah. Don't, Don't get worry worried. about it. Don't get anxious. 
Don't, Don't get anxious. Ghabra uh. and Imran said it. So I'll say it in Imran's voice. Ghabrana nahi hai aapko. <laughs> Is that Imran? <laughs> I'll try again. Ghabrana nahi hai aapko. 